devotion to the holy face of Jesus, as revealed to Blessed Maria Pierina. Giuseppina de Michelli was clothed with the habit of the Daughters of the Immaculate Conception on the 16th May 1916 and took the name of Sister Maria Pierina. A soul burning with love for Christ, she gave herself up unconditionally to her divine spouse, who in turn made her the object of his particular complacency. From her childhood, she nourished a desire for reparation which grew with her growth until it ended in a complete humiliation of self. It is not surprising then that at the age of 12, when she was in her parochial church on Good Friday, she heard a voice saying quite distinctly, Nobody gives me a kiss of love in my face to make amends for the kiss of Judas. In her childlike simplicity, she believed that the voice was heard by all and was pain to see that only the wounds were kissed but not the face, in her heart exclaiming, Have patience, dear Jesus, I will give you a kiss of love. She imprinted a kiss on the face with full ardor. As a novice, she was permitted to do night adoration, and on the night between Holy Thursday and Good Friday, while she was praying before the crucifix, she heard it say, Kiss me. Sister Maria Priina obeyed and her lips felt not the contact with the image of plaster, but the contact of the true face of Jesus. When her mother superior told her it was morning and her heart was full of the sufferings of Jesus and of the desire to repair the outrages the holy face received, and is daily receiving in the Most Holy Sacrament. In 1919, Sister Maria Pierina was sent to the Mother House at Buenos Aires, and on the 12th of April 1920, when she was complaining to Jesus of one of her sorrows, He appeared to her, but in blood, and with a sorrowful affectionate expression, telling her, which I shall never forget, she writes. What have I done, Sister Maria Priena? Understood, and from that time, the holy face of Jesus became to her a book for meditation and the entrance to his heart. She returned to Milan in 1921, and Jesus continued to be her object of love. A little later, when she was elected superior of the House of Milan and provincial for Italy, Besides being the mother, she became the apostle of the Holy Face to the sisters under her care and all those with whom she came in contact. Mother Pierina knew how to hide everything and the community is the only witness of certain facts. As years passed, Jesus showed himself to her often, sad and bleeding, asking her for reparation, thus increasing in her the desire to suffer and to emulate herself for the salvation of souls. During the night adoration of the first Friday in Lent in 1936, Jesus said, I wish that my face which reflects the deep pains of my soul, the sorrows and love of my heart, be better honored, who contemplates me, consoles me. On the Tuesday following Passion Sunday, Jesus returned to her and said, Every time my face is contemplated, I will pour out my love into the heart of those persons, and by means of my holy face, the salvation of many souls will be obtained. Let us all pray the golden hour of prayer. This prayer was given to Sister Maria of St. Peter in a vision when she saw the sacred heart of Jesus, delightfully wounded by the golden arrow. Every time we pray the golden arrow prayer, 
we are helping the Lord in conversing sinners. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and ineffable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth by all the creatures of God and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.